Geoffrey Williams of Malaysia University of Science and Technology accused Putrajaya of having its priorities wrong after Deputy Women, Family and Community Development Minister Siti Zaila Muhammad Yusuf recently told the Dewan Rakyat that Putrajaya had been giving welfare aid based on the old poverty line income of 980 ringgit a month during the pandemic, commenting on a claim that the government could not afford the additional 3 billion ringgit needed if it were to use the new PLI of 2,208 ringgit a month, he told FMT that Putrajaya could easily raise the funds. 3 billion ringgit is only 0.2% of the nation's total gross domestic product, so it is perfectly affordable. It isn't even necessary to look for new funding sources, as it can be covered by reallocation from the existing budget. He said the old PLI was far too low to cover basic needs like food and rent and was even below the minimum wage. It creates abject poverty and dependence on family, charity or food parcels. If you have no access to these, you resort to white flags, he said, referring to the white flag campaign which started in June when people hung it outside their homes as a sign of distress. Hartini Zainuddin, co-founder of the Yayasan Chowkit Crisis Centre, said Siti Zaila had given a flimsy excuse. I am insulted that her response was so dismissive, she said. Does she know how many of the poor have been affected by the pandemic? But she's left it to the NGOs and community-based organisations to step in and do the ministry's job. She asked why the ministry could not rearrange its current programmes to provide the funds. Why can't you feed the poor? That's your ministry's job. You're accountable, she told Siti Zaila.